go. All right, today we're doing a TFI module replace. Uh, actually, the way you're supposed to do this, you should make a mark on the base somewhere. So when you loosen your hold down, you can be able to return your distributor to the correct mark. Well, the way I'm doing it, I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it around because I'm going to reset the uh, base timing uh, on it eventually anyway. It needs to be set, and now is the time to do it. And someone has replaced the TFI module on this before. And to do this, you'll need this little tool right here. I've got the distributor loose, and there'll be one bolt in here. There we go. You'll feel it. You'll feel the wrench lock onto the bolt. Oh, this one's tight. I might need to get a wrench. Hold on just a minute. Okay, with the little help of a wrench, I can break loose the first nut, or bolt, I should say, that holds the TFI module in. You probably can't see much while I unthread this. You want to be careful so you don't lose these screws. I've lost a few screws myself. <laughs> All right, and the second one, it's down there in the bottom. It's kind of tough. There it is. But it can be accessed too. Use the wrench again. And we unthread the screw also. Like I said, you have to be real careful so you don't lose the screw. When you when they once they fall down in the intake area, they are kind of hard to find. All right. Now once they're off. You just pull the module straight down out of the distributor. I don't think that I have the screws all the way out. There we go. And you'll know if you have a screw all the way out or not. My red F-150, I replaced with regular Phillips screws so I didn't have to go through all this again. There we go. Be real careful. That's a fine thread screw also. And now, it comes straight out. And you heard the click. That was a screw falling down into the intake area. But it is easy to get to. Probably can't see from my fat arm, but I got it. By the way, I'm working on what I call the North Carolina F-150. If you remember a few years ago, uh, 2013, when I put the brakes on it and the air filter in it and did the dash cover. Well, I'm back today putting TFI module on it and also a few other things. <sighs> Let's 
step that you don't want to uh, look over is the back of the new module needs a they comes with a product in it let's see if it's in here here it is it comes with a little tube of special grease it is hit heat dissipating grease without it this module will fail in about an hour it will not last very long at all so what we are going to do we are going to go ahead and open this very carefully oh, here it is I have a knife for this And we're just going to apply this. And I'm not going to be stingy with it. It gives me a whole tube and I'm going to use it. In the past I've used white lithium grease, but that is only if I have taken the module off for a reason and, and reinstalled it. Uh, <clears throat> It's best to go ahead and use the supplied grease that comes with it. And I'm just going to take and just kind of smooth it out just a little bit. Make sure you have a good coating of it on. And now it's ready to reinstall. I can't remember if I said if I use white lithium or not. Uh, if I have, I'm wrong. Uh, if I've worked on this before, these, and had them off and had to put them back on, I've used dielectric grease. <clears throat> uh, but like I said, uh, the supplied grease that comes with it is more suitable to use. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to do this with one hand, and I'm going to try to slide this straight on to the distributor. Okay, I need to turn the distributor a little more. There we go. Yeah, I'm also doing this with one hand. Let's see. I got to turn the camera off so I can do this correctly. Hold on. And the next step is to go ahead and put the screws in it. Uh, I didn't show that part. I didn't want to. Didn't want to have to run the risk of dropping the screw and having to stop the camera and find the screw. So I just went ahead and put both the started the screws off camera. These are a 7 seconds head bolt. And of course a regular socket does not fit. The technician that I apprenticed under had a regular 7 second socket that he ground down to fit. See if I can move some light over here in the way where you can see what's going on. There we go. That's tight. I'll go ahead and check it with the wrench. Still hadn't got over the cold yet. Oh, I made a video. Oh, yes I did, I'm sorry. I, I thought that I had 
left it out. I made a video where I vacuumed the flex for the first time. And yeah, but I did upload it to YouTube. All right, well, these screws are tight. Now your next step is to go ahead. Now, if you've marked the distributor, all you have to do is just rotate your base back to the marks you had it. Or if not, you can rotate it back to the approximate position that it was in. But that, you can't leave that in a final place because you will have to go back and reset the timing, which I will be doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and snug up the hold down bolt. plug the module back in and after that it should be ready to start I'm probably going to go ahead and start it with the air hoses off of it so I can get in here to adjust the distributor it won't hurt anything just sitting here all right so we're going to do we're a up. I've got the ignition timing set on it uh, you probably can't see it but I have the spark output reconnected, so the timing is going to be advanced. Well, anyway. And this job is done. And the owner gets the truck back. Okay. Thanks for watching.